morning everyone, my name is Omar Arantjandula and I want to begin my presentation by asking you a question. Did you ever wonder what the color rose quartz or, rose quartz or what the color serenity is? Well, Pantone is a company that specializes in company and is basically responsible for color names such as lavender herb, leaf green, deep periwinkle or aubergine. And today I'll be giving a presentation about disadvantages of using Pantone matching system in printing. Uh, firstly, why did I choose this topic? I was talking to my friend who studies graphic design and I asked her opinion on Pantone because I thought the color names were really, um, I thought the color names were really cool. And she basically scolded me for liking Pantone because she said that uh, it was the graphic designer's nightmare. Um, upon that, I may suffer to research. And secondly, I have a general interest in color graphic design and art. Now I want to go over my overview of this presentation. I basically divided my presentation into two main disadvantages. The first one is, being, uh, is that it's expensive, and the second one is that it's not extensive enough. Uh, but first of all, I want to give you a little bit of background information because this is a technical color. This is a technical uh, subject. Uh, so what is Pantone Matching System? It is basically the world's first color matching system. As you know, color is subjective and Pantone brings a solution to that. And even though uh, colors in Pantone Matching System are convertible to CMYK, which is what we are more acquainted with, and which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, um, Pantone and CMYK, I, I will be using the differences between Pantone and CMYK to uh, juxtapose and show the disadvantages of Pantone. And lastly, uh, Pantone relies heavily on its swatch books, uh, which are used using all of the colors that they predefined. And Pantone basically consists of 15 base colors, which are predecided and uh, whose pi pigments are already there. And what we get uh, with Pantone match matching system is colors with mixtures of these 15 base colors in different percentages. And now I want to, uh, now I want to mention something about a little bit about CMYK system. What we get in the CMYK system is that we take the color and we uh, basically dissect it into four uh, into four percentages of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Uh, however, when we when we are talking about Pantone matching system, we if we get if you have a Pantone green, then it's a Pantone green. It is not. It cannot be dissected into other components, and this is basically what you get when you say Pantone three six two. And even though uh, converting PMS to CMYK is possible, as you can see, uh, the color deteriorates along the process. And now I want to mention my first disadvantage, which is that it's expensive. Well, as I told you before, Pantone Matching System relies heavily on its swatch books, which are really expensive because they use each and every color to print each and every swatch book, which in return um, becomes this uh, hard to reach, hard to purchase uh, block of colors that you can't really find anywhere. And secondly, because the uh, inks are predefined and pre-decided for you, you can't really opt for a cheaper alternative, so you have to use the, pen, the colors, the ink that Pantone, Pantone really dictates you to use. And thirdly, the printing process is really hard uh, harder compared to CMYK because uh, you have to go layer by layer. It uh, is basically a nightmare for printers. And now I want to mention my second disadvantage, disadvantage which is that it's not extensive enough. As you can see, I put a color swatch of bluish hues. And even though we have patterns 664 and 665, uh, if you want to obtain a color that's in between them, you have to define that color first, uh, which is not something that is easy uh, and which can be used in mainstream printing. And now I'd like to draw your attention to this graph that I borrowed from M. Howard's article on Pantone Matching System's qualities. As you can see, even though Pantone Matching System reaches further beyond uh, in the color spectrum than RGB and CMYK, RGB and CMYK provides um, 
continuous spectrum of colors, which is basically what we want if we're not um, if we're not printing something that is really high quality. And this brings me to my conclusion. So far, I've talked about disadvantages of using Pantone and mass printing: uh, that it's that it lacks freedom, that it's that it's expensive, and that it's not extensive enough. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for your undivided attention. Here is a list of my references if you want to check any of them. And now I'll be happy to answer any and all questions that you might have. Thank you.